Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have live show match action coming at you. It's going to be on MLG Shattered Temple here. It will be a best of three. Optic Coyote and Masa are going to be battling it out at NMX Masa. Such a strong Terran player. Optic Coyote going to be trying his hand here in his ZVT. Super excited for this little matchup here. I'll tell you, Masa is such an impressive player. And Optic Coyote, while I, 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 I mean, he's, he's highly ranked too. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Optic Coyote is phenomenal. But Masa's one of these guys that's just kind of got that special thing going for him, man, where he just is crazy trained. Absolutely crazy trained. So I'm interested to see how Coyote's going to be able to deal with this. Um, uh, he said this is going to be a good matchup for him. He's going into a clan war with NMX here at the end of this week, apparently. So this is a good chance for him to start trying his hand at how clan NMX deals with things. And uh, so I, I'm kind of pumped for this little matchup. But it's going to be cross positions here on Shatter Temple. NMX Masa spawning as our red Terran. He's kicking it over here at the 8 o'clock position. Up here at the 2 o'clock, it is Opta Coyote. He is our purple Zerg. Now, uh, go-to strategies here. For Optic Coyote, he's going to want to play probably a little bit defensively here early game. Masa is one of these guys that tends to get out a relatively early scout on his opponent, and if he finds a weakness, will put on early pressure. And sometimes he'll just put on early pressure even without a scout. He's one of those guys that so, he's just so confident in his builds and in his micro that you know the, his ability to control those units that he's just able to make it happen. But Masa is starting with a standard opener. He does have that supply depot going down. He's going to block off this ramp. Wants to keep Zerglings out of his base where possible. And that tends to be a good way to do it. Back here at Coyote's base, it is 14 supply. I'm wondering if he's going to go for his spawning pool now. It looks like he is. No, nope, 15 supply, so maybe hatch first. I don't know. He may go hatch first here. 15 supply, and he's going to have to send a guy out. Yep, there he goes. Okay, it is going to be a hatch first here from Optic Coyote. Looks to be in pretty good time. I like these 15 hatch openers. Looks like he made it there two and a half seconds late, but that's all right. Back here at Moss's base, that barracks going down in great time. It's about two-thirds of the way done. And he does have a gas about to complete as well. Looking good. Cool, 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 but Optic Coyote now with that hatchery, it's almost halfway complete there. He does have a spawning pool down right behind it. No gas quite yet from Coyote, so it's going to be, it looks like he might go for a gasless opener, unless he puts it down here in the next couple seconds. It could very well be a gasless opener. Oh, there it is. He is going to go for his early gas. Not early, but he's going to go for that gas, standard timing gas. I'm going to grab that metabolic speed boost out for his lings. That just really enables him to maintain map control here in the early, you know, the first 10 minutes of the game, essentially. Maybe a little bit less, but not a bad little deal. Masa looks like he may go for an expansion of his own here in just a moment. He is going to send a couple Marines out onto the field. He's got one Marine cruising around looking for where his opponent is. He has not scouted his opponent yet. <laughs> it's just so interesting. This is what I'm talking about, man. Sometimes he gets a great scout out. An early scout, sometimes he just has faith in his build. And right now he is trusting in his build. He's tossing down a command center without even getting a scout on his opponent. Absolutely crazy stuff. So here comes your uh, second or third Marine. Looks like this one going to be moving forward. Going to start working on these units. He's got two Marines here. Should be able to deal with just the two Lings for now, but we got more Lings in production, obviously. Spine Crawler here getting replaced. Two lings are down. Looks like these marines going to cruise back. Going to start focusing down the drones. I like it. I like this play. Looks like one marine will get whapped here to death. Oh my goodness, queen. Not quite able to make it. Oh wow. Great control there from Masa. Putting that wounded marine in the backside of his little army there. Back here at his base, he does have a factory going down. He's going to start transitioning. Notice he's got the reactor. Should be ready and waiting for that factory. Look at the timings there. He's completing at the same time. He's going to go ahead and lift this guy up here in just a second. Look how quick. I mean, this the smoothness of his gameplay is what just gets me going sometimes. This guy is always, always on top of it. Looks like he is going to be backing out with his Marines. This guy down to 2 HP, but living is a very big deal for him right now. He is happy to be alive. And even though he is happy, you never could tell by the face of a Marine. He's always got that kind of angry look in his eye. Like, man, I'll kill anything that looks like a Zerg. Anything is what he's saying to himself. 
But uh, regardless of that look in his eye, he is actually happy to be alive right now. Another orbital command going to be on the way here for Masa. Notice we do have some Hellions now cruising out across this field to join the triple Marine army here. Masa's like, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Five units, two two, Mar or, uh, two Hellions. Ah, we don't need all of them. Let's leave this guy here to hold the tower. We'll go ahead and push here. This is a good looking army. So yeah, he's going to go for a nice little push. We do have the one spine crawler here. Forward defense looks like that's going to be enough for now. Enough to turn Masa around anyway. So that's good for Optic Coyote for now. And it looks like Coyote is going to go ahead and destroy these destructible rocks. Pretty decent little time, what can I tell you? Queen cruising out here, going to try and deal with these Hellions. Doesn't want to get off the creep there. Got to be careful. Creep spread going down here pretty good for Optic Coyote. Like the creep spread very, very well, actually. Looks like your third and fourth Hellions now joining the pack. The Marines kicking it back here in a defensive posture, and Masa in phenomenal shape. Checking in on that units tab, it is going to be 32 drones to 30 SCVs. That is going to give Masa quite a lead here economically, since he does have those mules at the advantage. Nine roaches now going to be out on the field, as well as a baneling nest for Optic Coyote. So it looks like he is going to go for some serious two-base play. Roach is not a bad little play here, especially considering the number of Hellions in this army. Now, if Marines in good numbers will be able to deal with with those uh, roaches there pretty well so not bad and then Masa just depending on positioning should be able to deal with the Lings in that army with his Hellion so it's kind of an interesting counter versus counter type of deal and he does see this coming out nice map control good scouting with those Hellions does see Optic Coyote moving out across with a good bunch of roaches and he is going to be cruising forward here but look at this Lings and Banelings getting into position already and we're going to see a bailing bust here fairly quickly. Notice that Masa putting down bunkers here. He's going to move his tank up to the high ground. He knows this attack is about to come. So I like the positioning here. He does have his siege about to complete. Going to siege this guy up here in just a moment. Siege, 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 siege. is complete. And is he going to siege it? Yes, he is. Wall off may hold here for just a few moments. Bailing's busting everything down. Get a good bunch of Marines here at the ready. These guys backing themselves up. Now these roaches got to be able to do the damage necessary to make this attack worth it. We've got a bunch of tanks, all these SCVs being pulled here from Masa. Good looking attack here from Opta Coyote. Going to focus down this engineering bay that will delay all of those uh, upgrades here for just a little while longer. Should be able to kill off the starport as well. Going to see a cancel I would assume here from Masa. He's going to go ahead and evacuate the orbital for just a bit as well. Going to take it easy. He's just doing what he can at this point. Here comes your roaches up the ramp. Bad positioning for the roaches. Two siege tanks here gonna destroy these guys my goodness and that is it for those roaches all she wrote ladies and gentlemen for those little roaches but a good attack there from Optic Coyote he did cost Masa a lot of mining time there as well as denied a lot of buildings really set him back a lot of repairs going down here for Masa Masa gonna build that wall up here immediately I would assume and that is gonna give Optic Coyote the cue to go ahead and take down his gold expansion Beautiful play from Coyote. I'll tell you what, though. Masa is way ahead in the supply count right now. That's what's crazy. It's like, wait a second. Didn't he just essentially lose his natural? Which, I mean, essentially he did. He lost all of those buildings. But look at this. He's still ahead in the supply count in a very, very big way. Unbelievable. Checking in on that units tab. Let's see what it looks like. <coughs> Optic Coyote at 42 drones. 48 SCVs right now. For Masa, he just continues to produce them. He's like, you know what? You may as well just produce, because if I need to, I can just pull SCVs, and they're a great fighting unit. The most OP unit in the game, right? Super cost-effective. <laughs> they take a heck of a lot of damage when it comes down to it. Looks like a Coyote does cruise out here, sees those uh, Hellions, takes that opportunity to go ahead and blast those guys to pieces. So not bad there. Masa did secure a third. He is going to send it up here to this high position. He's got tanks here working on these rocks. He's going to open that way up. Looks like Optic Coyote says, you know what, I'll help you. Let's gain plenty of access to this base up here in the top right-hand or left-hand corner. We'll gain a whole bunch of access. I'll destroy these rocks. You destroy those. And uh, then we can go have a party up in this base. And that's probably what we're going to see here in just a little bit. I would assume that Optic Coyote is going to go ahead and try and deny this base when he does get the scout out here, which is right now. He is spreading creep. This is going to deny that position here for just a little while. I assume we're going to see some Marines here in just a moment to deal with that uh, creep spread. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Here they come. He is going to have to wait just a little while to you know, to get rid of that creep. It disappears over time. But down goes your overlord. A nice little snipe there for Masa. 
And Opti Coyote, that did supply block him there, actually. Should have had that produced there, I think. But he's working on his upgrades there pretty good. Plus one, plus one for Masa on his infantry is going to be complete here in just a moment. Looks like that Marine did pick up two kills. That's a baller Marine. Ice Cold says, Terran underpowered out on the live stream. <laughs> yeah, lucky for Terran, for the Terran race, they've got Masa on their side. That uh, evens it out there pretty good, right? But I'll tell you what, man. Optic Coyote is in phenomenal shape. He does have his third complete. It's up and running in a very big way. Probably going to see him toss down that goal to see, see a scan from Masa. Look at all the creep spread, though, from Coyote, man. He's going to have free reign in the center of this very, very wide open map. And that is going to be nice for him. Looks like this Marine is going to pick up a couple more kills, man. Up to three kills there. Those destructible rocks not going to go down here quite yet. Moss is going to take this opportunity to start pushing out. He does have plus one, plus one complete on his Marines. Obviously has Stim. Does have Combat Shield as well. And now Siege Tanks with plus one almost going to be moving out here. We do have that plus two infantry armor about to complete as well. And he's going to go ahead and clear out some of this phenomenal creep shred from Coyote. Nicely done. This tank's going to start sieging up. Coyote knows that he is under siege. You can see him gearing up for his uh, defensive posture. And it could be go time here at just about any moment. But Masa going to take this opportunity to back out here, strangely enough. Interesting play. Looks like he did endure a small little run by there from a couple lings. Going to see him go ahead and take out these rocks for the gold expansion. I think it's a it's pretty smart time, and he is going to go for a drop here. Looking good, looking good. Is he going to be able to do the damage necessary? Here comes your Marines. Dropping is super fun to watch. Going to pick off a couple of these drones. Queen going to get sniped here as well. And it looks like it's go time here for Optic Coyote. He's got everything moving into position. Going to try and take out these tanks as quickly as he can before they get too many shots off. Masa stimming forward here. He does have plenty of heal down on these Marines. Marines obliterating those roaches. And one tank still alive. And there's the GG from Optic Coyote. Masa's army there, too much to deal with. Coyote loses his entire army there in that attack, and that costs him the game. Beautiful play from both these players. That is going to take us to game number two. Don't you dare alt-tab. Always alt Starcraft off to catch you guys in that game. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We've got that live show match action continuing here between Optic Coyote and NMX Masa. A beautiful ZVT we've got going here. Masa taking down game number one in just phenomenal style here. Gotta hand it to Optic Coyote, man. He's willing to play anybody, anytime, at the drop of a hat, especially if there's a couple bucks on the line. And that's what we've got here in this scenario. A couple bucks here and there. Best of three. And game two here. Optic Coyote now needs to go two in a row. He said this is going to be an okay map for him to play on. I do agree. This is a fairly easy map for Zerg to take their natural as well as defend their natural and their main at the same time. And uh, you don't get you don't get like a cliffs that Terran can abuse quite as much in this map. So this can be a fairly Zerg favored map in some senses of the word. Now Masa obviously does know how to deal with that. So let's check out our spawn positions though and we'll get into this matchup. Coyote going to be spawning as our purple Zerg. He's kicking it up here in the top left hand corner. In the bottom right it is Masa. Spawning as the Red Terran, the savior of the human race in the Caprulu sector for the evening. I'll tell you, this guy is crazy train. Absolutely crazy. Love it. Coyote now just working on his economy. He is up to 14 supply. Probably not going to see a pool. I think he wants to go fast expand here, is my guess. 15 supply. Probably going to see that drone now cruise out and take an expansion. There goes your drone. We'll assume at this point it's for an expansion. It appears that that is exactly the case. 300 minerals, and down it goes. Nice timings there from uh, Coyote. Barracks going down here from Masa. He's not going to wall off with this. Notice that. Kind of an interesting little deal. But the Barracks goes down nonetheless. And uh, he is going to have his gas already complete here. So we may see some Reaper play here, or maybe even a 1-1-1 one, one, one type play, which can be a great choice on this map. It is a little more difficult to take your natural Unless you either rush into tanks or you just have to toss down a lot of marines and bunkers to kind of hold this uh, this natural early in this game. So we'll see how he's going to proceed here, but a 1-1-1 is a definite possibility here. No second gas from him, however, before the three-minute mark, so that tells me that we're not going to see cloaked banshees. There goes your factory, so it does appear to be a 1-1-1. 
React are going to be out on the field, so we're going to see some Hellions for sure in this opener. And then Optic Coyote is going to have his hatchery complete here in just a moment, as well as his spawning pool. Looks to be in great time. He does have his extractor complete and mining it with two, just two drones? Yeah. Just two drones. He's only got two drones on there. How very interesting. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, I am assuming that's got to be a kind of a misclick or something. I think he meant to put three on there potentially, but it is just the two for now. Notice we're going to see a spawn crawler go down. Back here at Moss's base, looks like your factory and your reactor about to be complete. And there's your switcheroo. Hellion's now going to be out on the field here in just a moment. Supply depots at the ready. Nice little wall off here for Masa with just supply depots. And still just the one gas. So a uh, definitely just a Hellion opener here. But we're going to see that starport right behind. And there goes the tech lab. So guess what? It is going to be a 1-1-1. One, one, one. No cloak, though, is my guess. Don't have enough gas for that. But here comes Masa. He does have his first two Hellions now cruising out across this field. No scout really to speak of here from Coyote. He didn't really make it into his opponent's main there. Let's just check the vision of him real quick. See, he hasn't seen anything. He hasn't even made it in there at all. And uh, neither has Masa. This is so funny. How often do you see GMs and high-level masters here battling it out and not scouting each other in the first five minutes of the game? I mean, this is the first scouting intel Masa has had. He's like, oh, wow, he took an expansion. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> But, I mean, it's one of those things, you know, these guys, they, they just have that metagame kind of in their mind. They they do play with each other quite a bit. I mean, I know these guys have played before. And it looks like Coyote, or Masa here, is getting more scouting intel than anything at this position than he is trying to do a heck of a lot of damage. He just wants to see what his opponent has been doing the entire time, as well as try and pick up a couple kills. So, third and fourth Hellions, now down to three Hellions total, though. One of them did go down. There's just you now two left, but look how many drones he's killed here. Great control. Down to one Hellion. He's going to dip back in here and try and pick up one more kill. you got to love this man. Great control from him. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like he... Uh, no. He's going to die. Maybe. Oh! One more hit, and that guy is to toast. <coughs> Unbelievable. Three kills on this guy that's got one HP right now. No, he's dead now. Dead to the world. Too very bad. We miss you, Mr. Hellion, but you did your job. Three kills means he paid for himself. Absolutely paid for himself. Here comes your first Banshee. It is going to be cruising out across the field. Notice he is also going to grab a Viking here. How very interesting, but he is going to definitely have air superiority as he moves forward. Not that you don't, you don't necessarily need it, but... Uh, I'll tell you, the Vikings are great because then he can keep pressure on his opponent's overlords. I'll see how this attack is going to go. It is going to be two Hellions, one Banshee. Up the ramp they go with the Hellions. The Banshee going to cruise around to the backside. These guys going to go hit the backside of the main. And, nope, oh, they're back to the natural here. Where are they going? My goodness, they're taking a beating from those queens. But here comes your Banshee. Banshee about to cruise in here. See what she's going to be able to pull off. Going to pick up a couple worker kills here, I would assume. And the Hellions now... Cruising to the back and picking up even more drone kills. 20 drone kills for Masa at this point. This is absolute crazy town. Absolute crazy town. All over the place with these Hellions. Too much for Coyote to deal with right now. And he is just he's just losing so much of his economy. He's down to 22 or 21 drones. Look at this Banshee now with 11 kills. Is about to snipe a queen here. No detection necessary. I mean, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah, GG. Congrats, he says, with the heart. Beautiful play there from Optic Coyote, but I'll tell you that 1-1-1 from Masa is so crazy hard to deal with. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't alt tab. Always on StarCraft. We'll be going into another game here in just a moment. Hopefully it will be Masa versus somebody else. We'll catch, uh, catch you guys then.